Yesterday, I recorded an episode about Chris Kroner, but I forgot to explain. This guy, Chris Kroner, he takes local boomer-run businesses, puts them online. He's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. And I forgot to explain the reason. I, I explained how he does it, but I forgot to explain the reason why he's so successful, why this idea is so good, and it's extremely important. So the recap, you know, there's local boomer run businesses in tons of small towns, local brick and mortar businesses that are run by older folks. And this guy, Chris Corner, he said to them, I'm going to take your business. And, and these businesses, they're not online. These brick and mortar businesses, they are not online. And Chris went up to them and he, and he said, I'm going to take this. I'm going to put that on, put this online. We'll make a lot of extra money. I'm going to set up the website. So he sets up the website with Shopify. He uses a 3PL, third-party logistics company. You can just Google third-party logistics if you want to do this yourself. There's tons of them. And he uses one uh, for fulfillment. And then the local boomer-run businesses, they put a QR code in their bags that say, we're now online. So customers know that they are online and now they can order online. And Chris prices things at 2x. So there's enough margin for him, for the logistics, and mostly for him. The reason why this works so well, or the reason why this opportunity even exists, is because boomers don't want to learn the new tech. They don't want to learn technology to them that is that is new. It is human nature to avoid discomfort. And this is what Chris Corner is exploiting. He's exploiting the human nature, the innate tendency that many people have, which is to avoid discomfort. We all know boomers are scared of new tech. They just find it stressful. Maybe scared isn't the best word, but they find it stressful. And we as humans, we don't want to do things that make us stressed out. And those that are willing to go into those places, they get the opportunities. And that's what Chris has done. This guy's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month doing this. He started slow just was figuring his way out doing it. And then he scaled over the last four years, but he saw a clear opportunity and went for it. He saw this clear opportunity. Oh, these businesses are liked by their communities and they're not online. Okay, I can fix that. Clearly there's money here because their communities are going to the businesses to shop there. And that's, and that's what he did. And it's, I think it's very, it's very smart. It won't work in all circumstances, but it will work in a lot because we're all just so used to being able to shop from our phones and from our computers. And he's been able to scale really well. He got some huge chain store in Texas as part of this enormous store where people are like, this store is so big and it was a boomerang business. It is a boomerang business. It's not online. And he, he made it online and he's making so much money now. So this is a great, it's a great lesson. I, I, uh, I know a lot of people who are just too smart for their own good. I think we all do. We, we know people who are too smart for their own good. They, these people, they see something as easy and assume that others do too. And for that reason, they might not, they, they might think that there's not as much opportunity in it because, oh, it's so easy. Everyone, everyone can do this. And there's actually a, a, a big opportunity because the other people, they don't see it. They don't see it as easy. They're nervous. They see it as stressful. They don't understand it well enough to see the value like boomers with their, with their local businesses. They, Clearly, they don't, they don't see the value in having their stores be online. If they did, they would have invested in that. Maybe they wouldn't have done it themselves, but they would have asked around to find somebody who could make a website 
or spent a day or two just trying to learn maybe like there are a, a billion different ways to go about it you could hire some consultant who could just teach you the internet in a day something like that and then they'll be able to make better decisions when they hire someone to make a website but it's too many steps they don't see the value they're stressed out let me tell you the crazy thing is this guy chris kerner you know he started four years ago in 2020 a lot of these local businesses had to had to close up their stores briefly and a lot of them would have went under but because they had gone online they were saved and that's wild that is wild and uh, so here's another here okay here's another example if you're a developer you can do this right now I mean that's kind of an overstatement but it, you can start you can you can actually you might be able to do this and make money pretty quickly so right now there's a huge opportunity on upwork for just basic devs basic developers to put quick ai artificial intelligence automations or generative ai automations into companies and these companies are willing to overpay and these are simple automations things like like an ai chatbot and i know i know other devs who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month just like this guy chris and they're doing this they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month because on upwork right now there is more demand from companies looking for ai automations than there are just basic devs to fill it and so i told a bunch of my my developer friends about this even even friends who have dev shops i told them about this i told them that it exists and I, did they spend a day or two learning upwork so they could try this no no i i've i asked them several months later because this this opportunity has existed for months now so i asked my friends several months later you know have you tried the upwork hack no they haven't why is that because it's the same reason the boomer the bo local boomer and businesses aren't online the unfamiliar makes us nervous the unfamiliar makes us nervous and the people who crush it the chrises of the world they go to where that unfamiliar f familiar is and importantly they're not afraid of it because they trust in their ability to learn that's something that i think i personally do very well i know that i can learn anything that i want to and i have systems for learning it oh you watch some youtube videos take notes try fail iterate try fail iterate succeed take notes watch more youtube videos contact people who are doing it well ask them questions you have to be patient with yourself but you will get there and this is something I, I personally believe that I can I can learn whatever it is that I want. And I think when you get to a certain age, you really get just stressed out about learning new things. Or you just haven't adopted that mindset. That's another thing. A lot of people just haven't adopted the mindset that they can learn anything, that anything can be learned. Why do our sports coaches tell us at an early age to practice, practice, practice? It's because that's the only way to get better. And, but and it's because you can get better and anything is like sports you can get better at anything so the truth is there's these crazy opportunities all around us everywhere we look there's crazy opportunities we all want to reinvent the wheel we want to do something original and there's a lot of people out there who are crushing who have low enough ego egos that they're able to follow straightforward paths and also be patient with themselves and learning things that they don't know that to other people might make them uncomfortable. And I like this lesson from Chris Kerner. So I wanted to dive a bit deeper into it, especially because, because that the video, I'm, the reason I even recorded the podcast yesterday, the reason I even recorded the podcast yesterday about Chris Kerner was because I had made a video about it. And by the time I recorded the podcast yesterday, the video, I think it was up to 5,000 views. And I'm, I was excited. I said, this video is pacing really well. I think it can do well. And now it's only 12 hours later. Now the video is up to 
it, it, it's it's just past 75,000 views. So I think it will get several hundred thousand views. And that's what I said on yesterday's episode. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. And uh, oh, there's something else that, that has me really, really excited. So while I do work now, I'm just constantly on a Twitter space. I let anybody come into a Twitter space to ask me questions because I figure sometimes I can get good content for that, which I can turn into a daily podcast. I love like getting unique content from different places and then using it to create something greater. And so I just constantly am on a Twitter space going whenever I'm working at my computer. But I realized that this has me hyped. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it today. You can run Twitter ads, cheap, cheap Twitter ads to a live Twitter space. How crazy is that? These ads are so cheap. If you do global targeting, you get listeners for a tenth of a penny. Or maybe two tenths of a penny. But it's ridiculous. And so I'm just going to start an ad on a space while I'm working after this. I have I really don't know what will happen. It might work. It might not work. It, it'll be interesting to see. And maybe I'll have some people ask me questions and then I can turn that into a podcast. So that has me excited. All right, I'm going to end I'm going to end episode number 26. But I want to leave you with one thing. So there's more than a million ways to make a million dollars. So many ways. But there is one caveat. Chris Kerner did this. Anybody who, who doesn't know any, who, who is trying something unfamiliar, the people who make it, they do this. The one caveat is once you pick something, you need to stick with it. Consistency. I'll, I say it on every episode. Consistency. Because that's the only way to get better. It's the only way to learn. It's the only way to find and exploit those real opportunities. Consistency. But there's more than a million ways out there to make a million dollars. Believe in yourself, believe in the process, believe in the process of learning and iterating and trying and failing and trying again and getting better and succeeding. Believe in that. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.